So, I have to tell you, you look better in that nightgown than I ever did. <laughs> you don't have to try to make me feel better. I thought I knew Chad. And it turns out he's nothing but a two-time and jerk. I can hardly believe it. Look, I know that I asked you this before, but are you really sure about what you overheard Chad say on the phone? He was making a date with his lover on the same day that he vowed to spend the rest of his life loving me in front of all of our family and friends. <sighs> what kind of person does something like that? I don't know what it is. It doesn't make any sense. It's Chad we're talking about. I mean, he's always been so loving, so loyal. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously it was all just some big act, you know? <laughs> I don't know who he is anymore, you know? For all I know, he's the one that killed JT Cornell. Maybe. But there is a difference between somebody who cheats and somebody who actually kills someone. But Whitney, if you don't know Chad after all these years, then I certainly don't know anything about Jared. Maybe he's the one who killed JT. God, what have we gotten ourselves into? So, you know what this reminds me of? I got up at this hour, my nightgowns. When we were kids, you know, we used to have those sleepovers. Except this time we don't have to worry about our parents keeping an eye on us. We can actually stay up as late as we want. We can raid the refrigerator, we can watch DVDs, you know, have ice cream. Nice try, honey. No, come on, come on, up, up, it'll be fun. Let's go, yes, it'll be fun, okay. Well, maybe, maybe it won't be. That fun, but come on, it's better than feeling sorry for ourselves. I mean, we're not kids anymore. I didn't just lose a tennis match. <laughs> What's wrong with me can't be cured by a slumber party? <sighs> I thought I was gonna be with a man for the rest of my life. God help me. I know, Whitney. We all thought Chad was a good guy, a great guy. And I was really happy when it turned out of you could get married. Yeah, so was I. I mean, I had dreamed about the perfect wedding, you know? <sighs> I thought it was gonna be a new beginning for us. And Miles, I wish it could have turned out differently for you. Well, it certainly isn't your fault. I mean, you did everything for me. <laughs> you had that beautiful dress made for me. You hosted a beautiful, elegant reception. Just, I, I don't even know how that J.T. Cornell's dead body got in that wedding cake. Ethan, he, he thinks that Jared's the one who killed J.T. To, to keep J.T. from divulging this deep, dark secret. You know what, honey? You don't know for sure that Jared would deceive you like that. Not like I know that Chad would deceive me. You know, I, I still can hardly believe this is happening. I mean, how could he look me straight in the eye Tell me that he loves me. Tell me that I'm the only woman in the world for him. And then do something like this. I mean, I believed him. How could I be such a fool? Whitney, I know you're in there. Open the door. Chad, just get out of here, because I don't want to see you. But I'm not leaving until we talk, Whitney. Open the door before I knock it down. I'm not playing with you. Open this door before I break it down. Chad, stop it. Then open the door, Teresa. I want to talk to my wife. No, no, Chad, why don't you go see your mistress? I want to see you, Whitney. I don't want to see you, so go away. Chad, get out of here. Teresa, stay out of this, OK? She's my wife. Well, she's in my room, in my house, so go home. Not without my wife. I can't believe I married you. You're a lying, cheating bastard, so go away. Whitney, I'm your husband. That's to mention the father of your little boy. Leave my this okay because you did this to him too Whitney just let me explain what what are you gonna explain why you made a date with your mistress there's no explanation in the world for that I thought that I heard your voice Jared. you won't listen to anything I say Chad what is with you okay she doesn't want to see you she doesn't want to talk to you and she's definitely never going home with you oh the hell she isn't she is my wife she belongs at home with me Whitney open the door Whitney, please open the door. Yelling is not going to get her to do anything. Stay out of this. Okay, both of you. This is none of your business between me and my wife. 
Open the door, you know Whitney. No, Chad, she doesn't want to see you. She overheard you talking on the phone to your mistress on the same day you took your wedding vows to her. Look, I know what this looks like, but she's got it all wrong. I love Whitney and only Whitney. She's my wife. Now, don't let me... I'll break this door down. Get him out of here, please. He won't listen to me. Oh, my God. I never thought something this awful could happen. I don't think something like this would happen to us. Whitney, come on. Well, I guess now's not a very good time to bring up that question. Your marriage proposal. Well, yeah. I don't want to pressure you for an answer, so... No, I can't, I can't think right now with what's going on here. Sure. Well, just as long, as long as you're thinking about it. I just need to make sure that Whitney's okay. Can you try to get Chad out of here, please? Yeah, yeah. So you'll, you'll call me? Whitney, I want to talk to you. Yeah. I... You know what? Here, I can't wear this until I give you an answer, No, 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 so. no, 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 no. Whitney, Leave please. I like it there. Hold on. Hey, 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 come on, get off me! Open the door, Whitney! Now, oh, Chad! I gotta make things right with her! And open the door, Malone. I promise you the new year's gonna be better for both of us.